making a mural made up of about 99 panels that are created by different students from around the neighborhood that serves the Wishard, soon to be Eskenazi Hospital. It'll be something that you sort of recognize that's sort of familiar, that's a little bit dreamy. And we're just trying to get the entire community as well as the staff engaged so that they all have authorship and they all do this project together. A hospital can be a very threatening place. An adult knows what it's about, but a kid may not. So you want reality when somebody's examining you and treating you, but when you're sitting there, you want to escape somewhere. Well, photography doesn't matter. It's just if you let them express themselves. I mean, you have to have fun. If they're going to create work, it's going to be accessible and enjoyable when you're sitting there. We're specifically using a non-digital and gave them all Diana cameras, which are these cheap plastic cameras that are very metaphorical, romantic, uh, create wonderful images on film. I wasn't shooting, I was loading film and unloading film and helping kids shoot. and. Uh, orchestrating it along with my daughter Lila, who's my co-conspirator and co-creator of this project. And when we do things like uh, end up at the historical museum and we go to reenactments and we have somebody singing Cole Porter songs, it just makes it a really joyous event. You're a melody from a symphony by Strauss. You're a bell while a Shakespeare song. You're Mickey Mouse. You're the mobile. You're a turkey. You're a smile. On the Mona Lisa. I'm a worthless jack. A total wreck of flower. This is a project that's really closer to social interaction. Ideally, a kid would be sitting in the room instead of staring at a blank wall, they would be able to engage with a parent or an adult and say, what's that, or recognize things, and a little bit of a visual crossword puzzle. It's not something demanding, severe, but something that gives them a window into a world that's pleasant. room becomes less threatening, becomes a little more um, friendly. You can't define it more than that.